Hi, Luke. Okay. So I kind of wanted to walk you guys around the house because it is almost spring. So it's time for somebody to blow his coat. And I know it might be gross to some of you guys. Some of you might have negative stuff to say, but whatever. Um, I, it has not been a week yet since I've swept. So just keep that in mind. Right now, it's mostly been Colt's hindquarters that have been shedding. But eventually it's going to work its way up. So, um, the kitchen isn't too bad. The kitchen I actually try <laughs> to, to keep up on, you know, because we, we make food in here. I actually swept this area, so this area is pretty much good. <laughs> but that's from just where I swept over here. That's not just a random clump there. But you can see, like, it pulls into areas like this. And especially around his cage, his kennel, too probably from when he's in there while we're at work. This, the living room doesn't have too much in it, but then again, the window's open, so it might have gusted everything. Yeah, it's a shed machine. I just hair, hair, hair everywhere. <coughs> yeah, I did you blow on your coat. Yeah, so we're getting rid of the winter coat. He gets so frustrated with me when I brush him too. Like, he gives me this look like, what are you doing? Put it back, that's mine. <laughs> huh. So you're trying to suck your hair back up? You laid right down the pile. You're not ready to let go of your winter fur yet? You're not ready to let go of the winter fur yet? Like, no. Not yet. <laughs> Thanks, cold. <laughs> oh, cold. See, that grows, huh, Stinger? Happy I put the cover back in my car for your seat, the back seats. Yeah. Hey, Steve. Oh, man. Oh, Colt. Oh, don't drink it. Don't. Hey, hey, hey. Colt. Don't drink that. See what's he doing, Stanger? Aw. Happy girl. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's water over there. Ugh. went to his parents and Colt got really, really muddy, so it's finally time for the bath. So, the bath of water is going. We'll see how this goes because he hates baths. <laughs> Want a treat? Come here. Come get the treat. <laughs> Colt, come on, Bubba. Come get your treat.
Boop. Do you want your ice cream treat now? Want your fusty paw? Say, the bath time didn't go well at all. Say, I don't think we've ever had a bath that bad. Yeah. We saw these at Target the other day and I thought I would give them a go. But yeah, especially after that, that was pretty traumatic. So I think you can definitely have some frosty paws. You're just sitting so patiently. You're such a good boy. But that's what they come in. They're like little Sunday cups. And I, I think it's just plain. It might be peanut butter flavored. All right, Bubba. You ready for it? Jiggle. See, that was not good bath time at all. I've never heard him scream like that. Well, I take that back. I think the first bath he took when he was a puppy, he screamed. But made me really sad. I don't know what it was this time. It's usually if I sit with him, he's okay. Yeah. So hopefully they'll make up for it, huh, bud? He does uh, actually enjoy having his hair blow dried. Maybe I'll get a clip this next round. I just blow dried him for about 10 minutes. So, and you can see he's still a little damp, but most of his front part's dry, so that's what he let me get the most of. But he actually laid down. He actually enjoys getting blow dried, which is funny because most ducks seem to run for the hills when they hear the blow dryer. Huh. Hey. Hey. You really like talking to the camera now, huh? Yeah, you really like talking to the camera. <laughs> happy boy. Happy boy, happy boy. Hopefully my hair isn't a mess because it seems like every time I do anything or film myself, my hair is sticking up all over the place. But a lot of times that's right when I got off of work. I haven't changed out of my work clothes, but I have now. And figure it's the whole time I'm at work. It's nice and sunny and pretty warm, you know, like good, comfortable, like, high 50s and then I get home and I'm waiting on my mom to drop off something and I'm waiting for her to get here before I do something with Colt and it starts raining. Are you flipping kidding me? So yeah there's that and tonight I don't like relying on this app sometimes because it can be really off but everybody said that they've seen it multiple places. So actually, it's Thursday, but it's supposed to snow again. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it'll focus on my phone, but it's supposed to snow again on Thursday and Saturday. It's 50 degrees outside right now. So we've had these nice days. Sunday, it was 60 degrees. 60 degrees and sunny. Yesterday, yesterday, Monday was really nice too. And then today, the whole time I was at work, it was nice to, <laughs> until it started raining. So, yeah, it's supposed to rain for the rest of the night. And then it looks like tomorrow actually isn't going to be too bad. So that's nice. Maybe Boog and I can do something tomorrow because I've been wanting to take him out and walk with him because I've been feeling a little bit better. There's been some days that it feels like the baby is just sitting really, really low and it hurts a lot to like bend over or like pick stuff up like just my whole lower abdomen pelvic area just it doesn't feel very great let's hope for tomorrow to be good weather wise because this little guy needs to go out sunday we went over to jacob's parents house you've seen the clips of him and stinger rolling around a little short clip i think i did um he had lots of fun they ran around for like an hour so he was pretty wore out from from that but me and him haven't got to go on a walk together in a good like two weeks which is ridiculous because usually we're so much more active than that but it's just like it's been an experience <laughs> so body is adjusting to everything it's just uh, it's crazy <laughs> so yeah I did give Colt a bath Sunday night too. That went over really well, I'm sure you could see. I didn't film too awful much after his bath just because I was a little freaked out how upset he got during the bath because usually he's he doesn't like water, he's not a fan of water, 
We usually do the doggy paddle every year that our local swimming pool does, but he doesn't like the, they usually do like the lazy river and there's like a kid's area that they block off for the dogs and then they have their bigger pool area with like the deeper sections and the diving boards on the sides. They keep that open for the public while they have the dog paddle going on. He hates the river. The lazy river is like four foot, I think. And we tried to get him to like swim in it. Like some of the other dogs like were jumping in there and like catching tennis balls. They were swimming all over the place. He was like, no, like I'll insert a picture <laughs> from when we did that. So as you see, like he was not enjoying that. He was like, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> so we ended up picking him up and both years he mostly ran around and stuff, but he did enjoy the kitty area um, because that's only like two foot. So he could walk around and stuff and he did walk around a decent amount and that. What are you doing, you weirdo? Why are you licking the fridge? That's a guilty face for the Colt. What are you doing? Why are you looking the f looking the fridge? <laughs> it's not time for your dinner yet. It's only it's only five o'clock. You got fed at two. He's like, I don't care. I know you could eat all the time, couldn't you? So you're just a little piggy. You would eat, 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 eat. Yeah, you would. <laughs> a lot of fun with that and but usually bath time I can sit in the bath with him and he's okay he freaked out this time like big time freaked out I sat in the bath with him or on like the edge and had my feet in the bath and he screamed like the audio is terrible on the GoPro but I might try to leave it if you can hear him how like Oh my goodness. Trying to talk to him, be like, hey, Cole, it's okay. Like, I know, bud, you don't like it. Like, we'll get over it. We'll we'll get through it as fast as we can. Like, just stop. If you settle down, like, I can hurry up and get it done faster. And oh my goodness, he was like flipping out. It was like a tidal wave went through our bathroom. <laughs> so after I did that, I was going to, like, do a video of me blow drying him because that's one thing he actually really, really loves is getting his uh, coat blow dried. He lays there and acts like it's a spa day, like it's awesome. And if he wants to take a break, he'll get up, he'll take a break, he'll shake himself off, and then he'll come back and get dried some more. But say, mommy was just giving you lots of attention because I was a little, I was a little worried that you got that upset over the bath. You just got mud all over my pants. Did I just wash these? Yeah. And stopper too, thanks. Thanks. So I just... Spent the rest of the night cuddling with the boog and boog drying him. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. Can I have that? Ah, can I have that? So, yep. Pretty much hanging out right now. I got the vlog uploading that says two hours. I wish this camera had better autofocus. But, yeah. This is what I have to deal with when I'm uploading because I have an older Mac. And, uh... I know I could probably find a PC, laptop, newer, cheaper, but if I'm getting another computer, I'm getting another Mac. It's just, it's just what I like, it's just what I've had for the past three years, so this one I'm gonna stick with. Huh. Yeah, you did.